We painted our house. I'm so excited. Um, you can see the color behind me here. We painted our entire house a beautiful shade of black. Um, it is Iron Ore by Sherwin Williams. We painted our entire house minus the front um, since that's a stone facade. And we also painted our garage. Um, we got really, really lucky because we were also able to get a new roof this year, which is crazy. Um, we had a really bad storm last year, so it was something that insurance took care of because we had bad damage. It was like a really nice thing to have both a new roof and the paint happen at the same time. Um, so I just am so happy with how it turned out because it feels like we got an entirely new house just in the last couple of months. Um, so when we bought the house, you can see here, but the house was, like basically a peach. It was like a really weird color. I like Jonah, I would joke with Jonah that like, I think that they maybe got a color that they thought was cream and they bought all the paint and then they were just like, whatever, like it is what it is. <laughs> because I just feel like you wouldn't want to pronounce that color. I don't know. Um, but it was really important to us to get rid of the peach because it didn't really fit our styles, but, and it also just, it didn't really go well with that stone facade. Yeah, it was kind of sad because well, after we're talking to our neighbor, it was like a creamy vintage white before they painted it the peach when we bought it. Like they painted it to sell it. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Do not paint your house to sell it. I swear, because whoever's gonna move in there will usually have a different color that they want to do. Anyways, um, so I decided to paint literally everything. So we did the window trim, the gutters black, the soffits black, everything got black, even the screens. Um, our windows are vinyl and I know it's super controversial to paint vinyl windows and I get it, but I have plans to get new windows on this house when we live here. So this is really more of a short term aesthetic thing. If you're wanting to paint your windows for really long term, I'd look into that a little bit more. Um, I use like a, a high quality spray paint enamel on all the window screens to get that really nice black finish. Um, and I really am happy with how it turned out. I was looking for something that would just really make a big difference because when windows are a different color, even this goes for your trim inside, that's what your eyes go to. So by having all the trim and everything be black, your eyes really take in the full image instead of going to the one spot that's a little bit different. So um, this was like, a, I think it was their A100 latex paint from Sherwin-Williams. And we ended up actually rolling it, which was a little bit unique uh, with my father-in-law actually has been a painter in the summer for a really long time. He's a teacher in the school year, so he had expertise. And so he was able to help us a lot on getting this done. Um, we do still have some touch-ups, but that's okay. So we worked, we started this in August and I think we really just finished a couple weeks ago. Um, we were out of town for a bunch of different stuff, but it did take us a long time. I think that painting the outside of the house was by far the hardest painting project that we've ever done. <laughs> um, we had, I mean, so much work on ladders and our stucco of our house is a little bit more textured. It's like an orange peel texture, I think is technically what it's called, but there were certain areas where it was really textured. So like I, like I was saying, we did roll it. So I think if I was to do it again, I would, I don't know, maybe try to spray it. I think total we probably spent I would say somewhere around $400 for paint um, for the garage and the house. So definitely use a lot of paint. We'll probably need to get another gallon to do touch up. So we'll be in around 450. And yeah, it was a lot of work. Part of why I chose black. I know it's like a very, sometimes some places I'd say it's trendy, like painting your mid-century homes, I think is really trendy to do black right now. We're seeing black kind of become more mainstream color um, in homes, which is fun. The reason that I did it was because of the stone facade of our house. It's a faux stone, it's like a stone veneer, but that was like, you know, our first impression of our house. That was the one thing about the curb appeal that I really loved. 
Um, and I wanted to pick a color that would make that stone facade really sing. And you can see here with the stone now, it really just pops and it looks like it was even put on new actually. It just has an entirely new life just because it's surrounded by all of that black. Um, and doing the windows black here with the stone was super important to me as well because that's what really lends it to more of that modern space. Even when we moved into the house two years ago, I there was this one house in mind, Chris Love Julia's home. Um, I saw this and I was like, we can do something like the similar elements on our house. So that visual representation was really how I got Jonah on board. <laughs> Actually, Jonah really likes like really dark colors too. So it wasn't really hard to convince him to do. Pretty much everything got painted on all three sides of the house and then the stone facade we didn't touch i'm not planning on touching that at one point i did think about doing a lime wash but decided against it because that would be a lot of work um also on the front of the house we spray painted all of the the stair rails black i spray painted those um that's kind of just the easiest way to paint things like that so um really happy with how that turned out on the stairs and we took off the old iron white door that was rusty and broken um we took that off and i repaired all the trim around the door painted that black as well um <laughs> funny enough that screen door the iron door was our address and our mailbox <laughs> so we had to put on a new mailbox and a new numbers the mailbox that i put on is when i got the ebay it's like a vintage looking or more worn looking brass mailbox that looks like it's been there for 50 years and that's really what i wanted the tile is um it's spanish tile we got that tile in mallorca last year when we were there on a trip so it felt really really nice to finally be able to put that on the house and i think it just it just really all fits together. We also did landscaping too this year. So Jonah is really passionate about landscaping. And so he picked all the plants and everything that went in there. All I told him was like, I want these colors. <laughs> so those are all fresh plants. So I'm excited to see them come in next year um, and really be really have roots established and be a lot bigger. I'm hoping for really billowy grasses um, and lots of good things for pollinators like the Russian sage and the salvia. So um, yeah, but that is the whole house. And so the garage, same thing, new roof, black paint everywhere. I got these really beautiful vintage windows that have the leaded glass um inside and so i didn't paint the lead of course left that exposed but i love how the color of the the lead looks with the the black i think that it all just really ties together and with the roses we have all rambling roses back there and so they're just going to climb up on the garage and it's just i love the contrast between the deep greens of plants with the black i think that that is just such a nice combination uh we also did get new lighting on the house so got some new kind of more industrial or barn style lighting i wanted just something that would disappear so we picked black and we picked like a dark gray that would really go well with the, the black color i didn't want something that was going to stand out again this is kind of like i love to color drench in my home and this is kind of me color drenching on the outside of the home chunky has decided to join <laughs> she always thinks that when i'm like when i'm talking that I'm talking to her. <laughs> it's so funny. So in addition to painting the entire exterior and getting a new roof, we also put in our garden uh, this summer and I just love how it turned out. I got all of these bricks that are on the border for free. Um, I think it was like 200 bricks or something like that for free, which is just crazy. Um, and then we did like a gravel in here, which is really nice. I wanted it to be somewhere where we could sit, enjoy a meal, but also be really close to the flowers. So I got all of this new dining furniture from Burrow and I just love it. We have hosted a couple friends over to have some dinners. We just got all the furniture set up a few weeks ago. And I just, I love how the white dining table looks against the black exterior of the garage. I think it looks really nice. These are our, like our flower garden too. So Jonah put in two flower beds at the beginning of Year. So you can see all of our dahlias are blooming really nicely. My amaranth went literally insane. <laughs> um, I've been cutting in a bunch to do some arrangements and 
outside. It's been nice, but we loved having all of our flowers in here this year. And I haven't even told Jonah this, but I sometimes I'm like, gosh, I feel like I could have two more <laughs> of these boxes because I just love having all of the cut flowers. Um, this garden area is just, it's just my favorite. I think that maybe Jonah was a little scared when I said how big I wanted to make <laughs> this area, but it was worth all of this sweat equity, that's for sure. We also got another little seating area. Um, this is all seating from Burrow, except for the big stump in the middle. Um, see, Chunky obviously really likes it. So the sofa is from Burrow and the two chairs are from Burrow as well. Really nice performance fabrics. And I just, I really, again, I love the white color against the black house. Also my zinnias look amazing. I love zinnias and we were so excited to have this many this year. It just looks so good against the black. Again, everything looks good against the black. So this little seating area is perfect for morning coffee or glass of wine. I really like the sofa because Jonah and I can both like sit our backs aside and look facing each other which is just really nice for conversation and yeah I just couldn't be happier with how the backyard really came together this year. Uh, it's actually a really funny story is that at the beginning of this season like in the spring Jonah and I had said we weren't going to do anything in the backyard <laughs> this year um, that we were only going to paint the exterior of the house. Well Obviously, we did a lot more <laughs> than nothing <laughs> in the backyard. So I'm really happy with the backyard and with the exterior paint and the roof. Everything just really came together. And I hope that you all think it's beautiful too. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I know that black is pretty bold exterior choice, but I think it's a really nice balance with the stone veneer on the front of the house. Um, so I'm really excited to hear what you all think. And don't forget to click subscribe below so you can stay tuned on some of our next projects that we have coming up.